Hello guys, today I will answer a question from one of you I received by email about search in Laravel project. I personally call it global search. So you enter some keyword and it searches via multiple Laravel models. So in this case, in this situation, you can pause the video and read it all, but I will summarize it for you. So you have news, tags, categories, pages, and you need to search in all of them. And the author describes two methods. So union, just SQL query with union and solving it all on SQL level, but then you lose the flexibility of the models kind of, and it's hard to customize. Then another option is to search for everything separately and then make a collection that contains the merge. And I particularly like the second method more, but in this video I will show you third method, which is external search with Laravel Scout and Algolia as a search provider. So we will have two demos in this video. First, search with collection merge and then external search with Laravel Scout and Algolia. And first demo will be based on our quick admin panel. So we have quickadminpanel.com where you can build admin panel and one of the modules is global search, which generates, I've cloned that project locally and generates something like this. So you have companies and you have contacts. Every company may have contacts. And then there is a field to search. So for example, when you search for John, it searches through companies and contacts. And then when you click some record, it lands on the editing of that record. So let's see how that works in the code and how we implemented that in Quick Admin Panel Generator. I will explain it step by step. First, let's take a look how that search works from the front end, although this video is not about front end, but I will demonstrate it for you. So let's open the browser console and let's see what happens. Let's make it a bit smaller. So I type in John and then there's a request, API request to global search. And let's zoom it in a bit and let's see the results. So the results it returns, it's an API call and I will show you that in a minute in the code with this structure. It returns some fields, then what fields should be visible and then URL to the edit. In the front end code, in the blade, in the menu blade, there's select with searchable field and it uses select to library, jQuery library and in jQuery code, good old jQuery still works. We add select to with a lot of customization here. The main part here is URL for Ajax call for the global search. And then the second main part is a function called template result format item. So format item is a function which is defined here. And here you define how you show that item. So in our case, we show item URL, item model, and then fields exactly as it is here. Let me open that again. So John, and this part is formatted with this method, format item. So you can use select2 for that. I guess you can read more about it at select2.org. I'm not gonna stop on the front end part in this case. Let's stop on the route admin global search, which then leads to the global search controller. And there's a function called search. What does it do? It takes the search input and then for each of this models, and what is this models? Models is a private property of the global search controller. You can put that in the config somewhere or wherever. It's an array of model name to search for. And then the translation key from CRUD's contact company title. If we open CRUD's PHP, it's a multi-language system. So contact company is this. So it's translatable. So it's a bit overcomplicated and you don't need to care about that, but I just wanted to explain. And then for each of those models, we create the query for that model. Then every model has searchable fields. And if we open, for example, contact company, the model, we have searchable. So in every model, there's a searchable field array. So we search by only those fields and do or where of those fields. So basically one query per model we get the results, we take 10 results maximum, and then we format the results, the return results, exactly as we wanted. So if we go back to the original email, that's the thing that I prefer. If you do union, you don't have too much customization opportunity. If you make the collection that contains the merge manually, then you are in total control of this function. You can use it per model in a different way or something like that. So you can return whatever you want, but you get the idea. So for each of the model, you do the search, one query to the database per model, and then you combine it all into the final result of searchable data. And it's all really flexible on two levels. 
the models is inside of the controller, or as I said, you can make it configurable, and each model has the fields to search by. So that's one way of doing it all. Locally, you can have config. Now let's take a look at external search with Laravel Scout and Algolia. And Algolia is an external premium service, but it's free for a limited amount. So let's take a look. Maybe you will like it enough to pay for that, or you will use it for your project for free. It's all based on Laravel Scout, which is a free package of Laravel ecosystem. And here are the docs. And by default, Laravel Scout supports two drivers. We scroll down. So we have Algolia and also a new thing called Maily Search. And there are quite a lot of community drivers for Elasticsearch and other systems. And let's take a look at Algolia. Here's the landing page, so you can scroll it and read more. But basically, it allows you to create the index in the cloud on their platform, then import your data, import your models into their structure, their system. And then when you search for something, you search actually in their index, and they return your results pretty quickly and flexibly. Let's take a look. First, in Algolia, you need to create an application. And there are plans. The premium plan is one or 150 per unit. And it's really hard to calculate because that's $1. It looks like not a lot. But if you have a big application, it may amount to $1,000 easily. So a unit is 1,000 records and 1,000 searches from what I remember. And let's call the application test. And we don't change anything else. We just create that application. We choose the data center. So for example, EU, I'm in the EU. I have read the terms, which I haven't actually, but I know them. Like in a broader sense, we create the application and we choose an experienced user. We continue and now we can create an index. Every database model in our application should have an index. So in our case, there will be index called companies and index called contacts. So we create that index, companies, for example, create, no records yet. We need to create another index, new index, contacts, create, good. Now we need to import our records using a separate package. So there is a Laravel Scout package official by Laravel, but also there's Algolia package created by the Algolia team for Laravel called Scout Extended. Here's I've opened the beginning of the documentation. Scout Extended is a package of Algolia, but it's free and it has a pretty good documentation. So to install that, we need to just do compose require Algolia Scout Extended, which I've done already, as you can see. And then we do what? We need to publish the vendor like this. Then for all the models that we need to search by, we add Laravel Scout searchable. So we have contact company here. We need to use searchable and then searchable here like this. And then in contact, contact, contact is the model. I know it sounds really silly, but it's just contact is the module of quick admin panel. And that is the model. So it merged together in a weird model name. But anyway, use searchable for Laravel Scout and that searchable is added on top. Okay, next step, we need to add API keys for the Algolia app ID and secret, which you will use in all the application and you should have them from your dashboard. So I go to my .env and add them at the bottom and I will get them from the Algolia. So here's the API keys menu item. Then we go into quick start of the documentation and quick start explains you how it works. So you need to import the data and then all you need to do to search is article search and you will get the results. And we will get to that in a minute after we import the data. So next import into Algolia, you do PHP artisan scout import. It automatically detects the classes and let's see how it works. Will it work from the first time? Okay, imported models. Let's see what we have in our dashboard refresh and we have no records yet for this. Oh, we didn't need to create the indexes. They are created automatically contact by table names, of course. And in the contacts or in the companies, we have two records each. And then it works in a way that whenever you update the record or insert new record in the Laravel, the listeners listen to the changes of the data and re-import them into Algolia. Now let's try to search. Before we do that, we need to configure the searchable attributes. Let's do that. In contact company, searchable attributes should be email and name, for example. Email and company name, save settings. And the same we will do really similar with contact contacts, searchable attributes, add one, 
contact email, contact first name and contact last name. Save settings. And now in our API search for the global search controller, instead of doing the query, we will add the search. So records, model class, the was article search, get. So search by term, get. And we don't need to do any of these. So not, not records, results. So results. Actually, we do need the fields uncommented. And let's see if it still works. Now it searches not from our database, but from the Algolia database. Let's refresh our page and let's search for John. Actually open the network again and we will see what network request it does. John, global search. The result is the same. As you can see, company name, all of that. So it returns the records, returns the eloquent models. It returns all the record from the database. Just database is in the Algolia cloud. So this is how easy it is to set up. I've done it almost in live mode or even actually overdone it because I didn't need to create the indexes in the first place. I'm not affiliated with Algolia. I don't get paid for this video, but I've used Algolia on a few projects in the past and it's really easy to set up. If you want to dig deeper, then it gets more complicated and then you need to pay for that. But for smaller projects, it's really good. And by the way, Laravel documentation from what I remember is powered by Algolia as well. So if you go and type, for example, eloquent, as you can see, search by Algolia. So this is a proof that Laravel search itself is as complicated as the whole documentation is. It's powered by Algolia and it's really fast. So what do you think? What is your approach to search by multiple models? Is it locally with collection merging? Maybe you use Union query or you use some external search like Algolia, Elasticsearch, Laravel Scout or whatever. Share your opinion and your experience in the comments. Let's discuss. And if you want to support my mission of these daily videos, Subscribe to the channel. Also check out three products, one of the three products or all of them that you can see on the screen, LiveWire Kit, Quick Admin Panel Generator, which you have seen in action in this video, or one of my Laravel Daily Teachable courses. See you guys in other videos.